My name is David Hahn. I've been in Portland since 99, and I moved here because of the comic community. I'd always drawn, and I didn't get into reading comics until I was older, until I was in my 20s. When a, my best friend brought some comics home, and he'd been reading them a long time, all of a sudden I realized, oh, these don't look like I remember them looking like. These are pretty cool, and that's when I got interested in them, but I never considered a career in them until I met Matt Haley. I thought, wow, people can do this, even in Albuquerque, New Mexico, which is where I'm from. You know, I love drawing urban landscapes. I love things that are in the city, in rooms. I have a very, people always tease me because someone will complain about, oh, I gotta draw this inside of the supermarket for three pages. I was like, oh, why can't I get that one? I really like drawing things that are neat and linear, like uh, laundromats or the grocery store aisles or windows on a, the exterior of a hotel room and making them crisp and clean and then putting something organic and different in front of that, like a, an attractive woman walking across the scene or, or a group of people, something like that, or an animal. And I always like that contrast. And because my art is very clean, I just, I just enjoy the little tiny details of seeing how clean I can make it. And that's something that a lot of other artists don't enjoy. They want to be loose. They want to draw the organic stuff. They want to draw the brushy stuff. They don't want to draw <laughs> rows and rows of TV sets in a store. They want to draw you know, big guys knocking each other out which is cool. Being here in Portland, also being a visually interesting town for me and completely different from where I grew up is exciting and stimulating. Even after nine years, it still seems fresh to me. I love traveling over the bridges, particularly the, uh, the Morrison Bridge or the Fremont Bridge and just being able to look down the river and just see all these bridges crossing and this downtown on one side and the urban area on the other and I just love that. That gets me excited to draw. It must be all those lines. Portland is a forward-thinking city, and I think a lot of people that live here or grew up here take that for granted. I came from Albuquerque, New Mexico, which I'm not ashamed to say is a city that seems to hate itself, and the best thing about it besides the weather is the food, and I grew up there, and I loved it, but I really, I realized this is just not a place that, that nurtures creativity or that people reach out to each other and, I, and then I moved here, and I realized that there's people here that... I was astonished to find people that were 22 years old that were buying their first home. And that there are people, like the little rascals, hey, let's put on a show, yeah, a comic book show, yeah, okay, well, let's go rent this space, and let's get let's do some advertising, and I'll make the flyers, and you, you call artists up and see who wants to buy a table, and then people make it happen. Like Stumptown, the Stumptown Festival. And that's just, that's like, wow, people get up and they do things here. And I think that's because that there's just a certain uh, positive attitude. That sounds so lame, but there's just something that, that makes people think beyond themselves. And I, I don't know what that is, but I think that's what contributes to so many artists, so many people getting along, so many people wanting to come here. Being in Portland, being amongst other artists, professional artists, professional artists who are working in my field, and I think that it's helped my career seeing other, seeing other people making it, as opposed to one guy in Albuquerque that I knew that made it now here in Portland, seeing all these other guys that can not only make it in comics, but keep the ball rolling and keep one job ends and right when it's coming to an end, another job comes in. And as a freelancer, you sweat that kind of stuff because there's no constant paycheck. Seeing other people also that have been in the business 20 years, professionals also, you know, sweating when that next paycheck is coming, it makes me feel, okay, this is the life. It's not just me, but everyone's in the same boat. There's not just one comic book community here, but there's several. There's, there's people, you know, they have, there's, there's this independent group, there's these mainstream guys, there's people, so many different cliques, and I mean cliques in a good way, of people that are doing their comic thing that no one, People are nonplussed when they find out you, you draw comics here. Yeah, yeah. Who doesn't? Everyone does.